CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.2. Compare and contrast the display components of mobile devices. Display Components. In today's mobile devices, the display is not a standalone component, but a complex hub where various system components and peripherals converge. This intricate integration is a testament to innovative design, aiming to maximize functionality within the minimal real estate of a device on the go. The sleek, compact form factor we've grown accustomed to is largely thanks to this strategic consolidation of parts. However, this space-saving approach brings its own set of complexities when it comes to repairs. The close quarters within which these elements coexist means that disassembling one part can often involve navigating around or temporarily removing others, increasing the risk of damage and the challenge of the repair. Technicians must have a keen understanding of the layout and be adept at handling the delicate interplay of components. For example, when addressing the Wi-Fi antenna routing within a laptop, it's essential to appreciate the intricacy of its placement and the impact it has on signal reception. The antenna cables, which are integral to the laptop's ability to connect to wireless networks, are delicately threaded in a specific path to optimize the efficacy of the signal. They typically travel from the motherboard, ascend around the display, and are carefully tucked beneath the screen's trim bezel. This meticulous routing is designed to minimize signal interference, an important factor in maintaining a strong and stable wireless connection. Any deviation from this path could result in signal degradation. Thus, when working around these antenna cables, it's vital to avoid any crimping or undue tension. Either condition can lead to a weakened or erratic signal, severely reducing your laptop's wireless capabilities. After ensuring the antenna cables are correctly routed, connect them to the appropriate wireless card. These connectors are typically snap-on types. They should be attached firmly to the card but not forced. Double-check that they're secured to the card and not at risk of being dislodged. With the antenna correctly routed and secured, the laptop should maintain robust wireless capabilities needed for optimal functionality. As for webcam and microphone placement within a modern laptop, their design serves both function and form, but it also presents specific repair and maintenance considerations. The webcam is typically situated at the top of the display panel, often in the center to align with the user's point of view during video calls. This location is chosen not only for user convenience, but also to allow for the most natural interaction possible. Additionally, the microphone is frequently located on either side of the webcam and is intended to capture the user's voice with clarity while minimizing the pickup of keyboard and ambient noises. When repairing or replacing these components, it is critical to handle the associated cables and connectors with care. These are often delicate and can be easily damaged. The routing of these cables is carefully planned to avoid interference with other components and to prevent the risk of crimping which can lead to hardware failure. In the case of the webcam, any misalignment during installation can result in an obstructed view or a camera that points in the wrong direction, impairing its functionality. For the microphone, improper placement can lead to suboptimal sound capture, reducing the quality of voice transmission. Next up, we have the touchscreen and digitizer. These components work in tandem to allow users to interact directly with the images displayed on the screen. The digitizer is a transparent layer that sits above the actual display screen and is responsible for detecting touch input. When a user taps, swipes, or performs any gesture on the device, it's the digitizer that captures the physical motion and translates it into digital signals. Below the digitizer is the actual display screen, which outputs the visual content. It doesn't detect touch by itself. That's the digitizer's job. But without the display, the user wouldn't have visual feedback for their interactions. This seamless integration of the display screen and the digitizer is what makes the user interface of mobile devices incredibly intuitive and easy to use, 
but also a bit more difficult to repair if damaged. And if we didn't have enough crammed into the display case already, let's add one more component to the list, inverters. An inverter is primarily found in older laptop models. The inverter's role is to convert the low voltage DC power from the laptop's battery or power supply to the high voltage AC power used in older non-LED backlights. This power conversion process was essential for illuminating the screen so that the display is visible. In terms of location, the inverter is usually placed at the bottom of the laptop screen, often within the screen bezel itself. It's a small, thin board that connects directly to the lower part of the LCD screen. With the advent of LED backlit displays, inverters have become obsolete. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.